Well, Alex Van Pelt uh, addressed uh, what the Browns are going to look like offensively uh, uh, without Odell Beckham Jr. and um, basically what they have to do. Yeah, I mean, we're going to go in and, and plan for the guys that are going to be there at this point, and that's that's our focus. I mean, going in to play a really good Cincinnati defense, you know, they added a lot of new faces um, through free agency. You know, they're playing really well together right now. We're seeing some different scheme that we haven't seen in the past, so a uh, big challenge for us to go down there and, and try to get a win on the road. You know, again, it's just the guys that are going to be there on Sunday, and I have great confidence in that group of guys. We've done it before, and we'll hopefully prove that we can do it again. Do you think the guys that are going to be there on Sunday at Baker's Absolutely. There's no question in my mind those guys will play well for Baker. And Tim, you alluded to it. Baker Mayfield historically plays really well against the Bengals. Um, and it's fair to say this is most important game of the season right now. No question about it. You could argue it's one of the most important of Baker's career in terms of, of you know, trajectory. If he can at least prove the narrative that he plays well without Odell Beckham Jr., if that holds up, then the Browns certainly can really be back in that playoff mix right now. And, you know, Alex talked, Alex Van Pelt really talked about, you know, the challenge against this Bengals defense. And one thing that sticks out to me is this is a pass rush. That's pretty good. They got 21 sacks on the season and for a Browns offensive and for a Browns offensive line that, you know, gave up a lot of sacks against the Steelers. The last thing you want to see is a Bengals defense led by Trey Hendrickson, who obviously their big signing. It was kind of question at the time, but, Looks good right now with seven and a half sacks. The Bengals have 21 as a team. Sam Hubbard on the other side has four. So this is a pretty good pass rush that they're going to go up against. So they're going to, again, they're going to need all hands on deck. They're going to need the receivers to really bounce back and really turn things around, particularly Jarvis Landry after those drops and that fumble. He's going to need to play well. They're going to just, again, this is a must-win game. This is kind of, you know, when your back is against the wall, you find out who you really are and we're going to see it i think evidence in how this offense plays because they've heard it for the last couple of weeks that they haven't played well and this was supposed to be the unit on the team that was supposed to be the stabilizing force that you know while the defense had its issues the offense was going to be fine but three straight games they've struggled this is pretty much uh, make or break time for this group